Well, it's UPW Championship match time. And uh, who am I looking at here, SA? This is the big boy Renegade, a Brisbane staple in wrestling. And uh, Renegade looking to take the, the top prize here in UPW, the UPW Championship from, from Moko Kai. His first shot at the goal, and he is not looking to miss. That's your UPW champion, ladies and gentlemen. That's Moko Kai. And uh, he is well known for being a savage competitor inside those four corners. Won the UPW championship off Jack Tucker at our Gold Rush event on the Sunshine Coast and since then has dominated, dominated in UPW. And we have seen these two competitors face off before. It was a losing effort for Renegade. Uh, will we see much of the same tonight, uh, SA? What's your prediction? It's tough to say, because Renegade is a big boy, but the pure power of Mokokai, and it's just unpredictable nature as a savage, is something you can't deny. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is a UPW Championship match. And it is scheduled for one fall. In this corner, the challenger from Cambridge, England, weighing in 105 kilograms, he is the big boy. Well, very clear who the fans are behind in this one. An incredible opportunity for Renegade to uh, become the UPW champion here in Brisbane. Uh, Renegade, a Brisbane native. But Moko Kai with the UPW universe behind him in this one. You think that because Renegade has spent more time in Brisbane that the fans would like him more? No, that's no, not the case. Because they've seen him more. And uh, the big boy there just taking, taking the championship from the referee uh, does not phase the Samoan Savage. And there it is, the greatest prize in our business. Referee Fennec looking to call this one straight down the middle. And he has the, the very important job of officiating the very first UVW Championship match in Mansfield in Brisbane tonight and we're off red hot crowd as the two men circle up we talked about the savage nature we talked about the the ability of Moko Kai what we haven't talked about is uh, that back brace that Moko Kai is wearing uh, Moko Kai with, a, with an ongoing injured back as the two men Lock up now, and it's Moko Kai with the power advantage early on. Doesn't look like that back is phasing him too much at the moment. That back was injured by a Cirque of Tragedy member, Jinx, some months ago now. And um, Moko Kai has not let that slow him down in his pursuit to become the greatest UBW champion ever as he locks up once again with Renegade now, who switches. Now Renegade on top in the lockup. Renegade in control and maybe getting... 
A little bit ahead of himself here. There's the power of Mokokai. He went for the clothesline, but he got it on the rebound. Nearly took the head of Renegade off. Do you see the force of that clothesline? He's up. It's the Samoan drop, but no, Renegade slips out and a German suplex just does not phase Moko Kai shaking that suplex off and Renegade turns around to a site that he was not looking forward to seeing he's got him up now could we see the power slam we do ouch Moko Kai dominating early on As he comes off the ropes now for that big senton, but he couldn't get it. No water in the pool there for Mocha Kai. He couldn't get it in Renegade now. We talked about that back, and this could be his opening. Here we go. Yeah, he, Big Boy is focusing in on that back brace, That's, on that back injury. That senton looked to affect the back of Mocha Kai, and Renegade noticed that now. Credit where credit's due to Renegade. He's going after that injury of Mocha Kai. Dropping a knee right into the back. And it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, AES. It doesn't matter, SA. How competitive you are, how strong you are, how savage you are. When you have a spinal injury and someone's targeting it like this, you're immediately on the back foot. And that's what we're seeing here from Renegade. But in my opinion, you know, Renegade has a championship opportunity. He's, he's being way too laxed. A back injury is a very different from, say, an arm or a leg injury because that is where your brain sends all the signals down to the rest of your body. So if you take out the back, everything else goes as well. Just affecting the movement of Mokokai, not to mention the pain that he's having to fight through here. But Renegade, he should be taking advantage here. He could win this match. Instead, the slow, methodical pace of Renegade as he looks now to try and use that injury against Moko Kai and he does here you can see Moko Kai just writhing in agony looking to stretch him out and wear him down you need to be looking to win the match because this is the type of injury that can de debilitate someone but Moko Kai instead now fighting up and he drags Renegade through creating some space, giving himself an opening. Oh, not enough as the, as the British, the, the Englishman renegade again out of the way and trying to target in on that back. The big British boy is being effective tonight and we might see a new champion. But he's taking his eyes off the prize here again. He's talking smack in the face of Mokokai rather than putting him away, getting the job done. Here he comes off the ropes, gives Mokokai an opening. And he takes the opening with a forearm and an elbow. Now a European uppercut by, by Renegade. And it's just returned to him by the champion. Oh, but he had that one scouted. The force of that clothesline and the back elbow. He had that one scouted. Does Moko Kai. Look at that forearm right across the head. A deadly forearm. And Moko Kai able to use this time now to try and get back in this matchup, try and recover a little bit. You can see him wiggling his fingers there. There's obviously pain happening in the back, but he, he gets him up anyway. He's able to get up the big boy on the shoulders. Could we see the Samoan drop AS? Yes. Sensational. And it is. The Samoan drop, and we've seen that move set up many a times into the debilitating finisher that is the spear by Moko Kai. And that's exactly what he's looking for here, Andy. Here we see Renegade, he knows what's about to happen. He's taking his time, he's trying, trying his best to recover. Renegade senses it, he's trying to get some separation here. Don't turn around, kid. Oh, he does, oh my huge kick. Giddy, 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 uncle, giddy, auntie, my god! New one, champion! Two! Oh my! I thought that was a new champion, AS! Oh, how did he kick out? How did Mokakai have the resilience to kick out of that huge kick? That kick could have taken a grown man down, and it did. Mokakai with a full head of steam in for that spear. Renegade's in shock. Renegade used uh, the, the fact that Mokakai was leaning in there to just 
get that foot up. And again, he's he's get, he's been too. He needs to put the champion away. Look what look at the opportunity he has right now. I have no idea how Moko Kai kicked out of that, but Renegade wants to make sure that he doesn't kick out of this one. He looks like he's going to set him up for one more. One more kick. Could the champion be in jeopardy? The championship off the ropes. He evades. Spear. Spear. Spears him in half. And one, two, three. He speared him out of midair. And still champion. What a comeback victory by Moko Kai. I thought he was in danger there we with all, the back injury. We all had to think that that back injury was going to be Moko Kai's downfall, but no. He was able to retain that UPW Championship despite all that. And Renegade, thanks for coming, but it's 2-0. And Renegade with the loss as Moko Kai stands tall here in Brisbane. The warrior did not back down. Well, the big boy met the warrior tonight and the warrior won as he walks away victorious and he stays on top of the mountain as UPW champion Moko Kai. Just a phenomenal performance by that man there. And I'm excited to see what the future holds for the Samoan Savage. Who can take that champion from the Samoan Savage, Mocha Kai?